riding across the uh, Iron Cove Bridge now on the way to Roselle and Balmain. We'll uh, do a couple of deliveries in that area hopefully. It's only just after 11.30 a.m. so it might be a little bit early for lunch but we'll see how we go. A bit, a bit, to, uh, a bit to update you all on today so stay tuned. First delivery of the day and uh, just picked one up back there at Sushi Hub at Roselle and we're heading down to Balmain East uh, to drop this one off, it's finally paying five bucks. That's fine, it's a uh, nice little one to get off the mark. And speaking of amounts, you know, there's no bonuses or anything in play today. Um, Uber aren't offering any of that, but I noticed yesterday um, had a lot of sorry, had a lot of uh, 1.3 multipliers sort of all over Sydney, so I think they're going with that this week. Not to worry. Still happy to get out and earn some money. All that stuff doesn't doesn't really worry me, but it's nice to hit the bonuses when you can. But uh, yeah, it's not the end of the world if they don't offer them. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'll get this one uh, dropped off just up here, and I'll catch you on in a bit. It's one big engine. It's probably from a uh, tractor or a boat, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It's obviously transporting it somewhere. A little loss of balance there. No damage to me or the... Uh, huh? But, uh, yeah, as I said, we're in the uh, main streets of Balmain. I'm not so mean these days. And uh, speaking of Balmain, they're the current table toppers in our soccer comp. Um, we are currently second. We've had two draws and four wins. And the. Well, there's actually two teams from Balmain. The Balmain B team are on top. I whacked the, uh, I whacked, whacked the table up here they're on top they've had six wins and we're playing them in two weeks so I think that should be a good game we, got, we, we play a very attacking sort of game as do they we've uh, I've actually seen them win 15 nil in a game with it where their opposition was actually pretty disorganized and that towards the start of the season um, yeah, that was a bit of a non-match for them, but uh, I sort of took some notes on how we can beat them. Yeah, as I said, it should be a good game in two weeks. In our last game this weekend, just, pre just previous weekend before today's Tuesday, we played Saturdays. We won 6-1. Uh, so, uh, yeah, team's, team's coming along quite nicely. Scoring some nice goals and... Uh, yeah, six games unbeaten, as are of course Balmain, and there's one other club that are unbeaten as well, Hurston Park. They'll be lost, they've had three draws and three wins, so... Um, yeah, it should be, a, should be a good, interesting competition the next... Well, the regular season goes for about another 12 weeks, and then you've got semi-finals and grand final after that, so... Here's hoping. And uh, go Burwood! can we talk about while well, it's quiet hey the other day I was um, I don't know, Mother's Day I um, went to fill my mum's car up fuel as you do being a good son I am and I um, I saw the new BYD seal being tested here in Australia no one no one had no one but an eyelid of this car you know Went over to the guys that were sort of driving, he said pulled into the servo and they were filling it up. Well, I should say filling it up, they were charging it up, I should say. It's an electric car. Whack a photo of it up here for you. Um, yeah, they were charging it, so I went over to them and said, oh, you know, what's what's the go with it? Is it, when, do you know when it's going to be available in Australia? And they're like, oh no, we're just we're still in the testing phase, so. Exciting times in regards to that car. So we marked that as being my next car. 
that is the BYD seal. For those who are um, unaware, BYD are actually a battery company that have gone into making cars now. Um, we've got one, we've got one or two cars I think out here at the moment. The BYD Auto 3 has come out. Um, and I've seen a few of them around and yeah, I mean, they're like an SUV type car, like a smaller SUV. And I'm not, um, I'm not too big on the SUVs. I prefer, you know, like a standard sort of sedan, plain, plain and normal, plain and boring, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the BYD Seal, everyone, keep an eye out for it over the next, I don't know, a few months, a year maybe, until it comes out here in uh, Australia. But yeah, they're testing that uh, on the mean streets of Sydney at the moment, which is good news. It is a uh, quiet earth start to the day, as I said. It's just going on 12 o'clock now, so things will start picking up after that first delivery did down there at uh, Balmain East. Yeah, I might shut up for now and uh, catch you all in a bit. Okay, I'll uh, just drop that one off. And I think I mentioned this new, what are they, I think they call it trip radar, this new trip thing they're doing with the maps in uh, Uber. Fucking weird. So I've just got a, um, just gone, which is paying 20 bucks for a double, and it's a hell of a long one, but it's basically all along Darling Street. It's just sort of to, not quite, not, not the other end of Darling Street to pick up is, but it's um, sort of back where we were and just coming back down here. And it's a double, so I figure, fuck it, let's do it. $20 double, so don't think you can go wrong. We'll see what happens though. <laughs> I also tried uh, tried locking the door dash as well a bit earlier, and the app's absolutely fucked. It wouldn't let me log in. So I'll have to have a look at that a bit later, see if I can fix that. Anyway, I'll uh, log off, go and pick this one up and uh, catch you all in a bit. Holy shit. Looks like they've finished uh, Eastern Park and it looks absolutely superb. It's the best I've ever seen it look. Grass-wise, have a look at that. Woo. One thing is, one question I have though is, how long will it last? Because down here it usually doesn't last, so... Hopefully they've actually rectified whatever problems they were having with the, the dirt and the undersoil. Anyway, I get these uh, these two delivered. Just picked them up from uh, Roselle and we're going down to Lilyfield. Catch you in a bit. Okay, one of the pitfalls of the job. I've got to go into the left there. Canal Road Film Studios. And look what they're doing to the road. You have to find another way in. So Ryan, your subway is going to be a little bit late. We'll see how we go. I think there's a way under this bridge, under that bridge there we can do. I think, think I might do that. Pretty sure that should be the uh, that should be open there, but uh, we'll um, we'll just see now. Oh yeah, you go under the bridge. So no to anyone that's. Uh, Working in this area. That part of Lilyfield Road's now closed, so you've got to come under this bridge to get into Canal Road Film Studios. There you go, sneaky, sneaky. We'll get around it. <laughs> um, hang on. I think, yeah. Along there's another entrance further up there. A uh, popular little running track here. I've been on this track quite a fair bit. Um, it's seven seven k loop, but I like to do a ten k loop as well. Sometimes when I run, I sort of add this part and 
bit further up there's Waratah Street, Haberfield. I'll usually go up there and uh, add that to it to make it so it's like 10.8 or 11 k's when I run. So yeah. Now Canal Road Film Studio. Let's try heading up here. Oh, actually, let me just have a quick look. Further up that way, you know. Might be one that's further up. This part of the studios. This is what it is. There's the first part of the studios down there. You got the oval here, and you got another section up there. So I might get lucky. Might be this one in here. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I'll, I'll uh, shut up now and uh, try and get this one delivered and catch us all a bit later. Alrighty. <coughs> Cross is averted, and I can. Uh, say that I've learned something new today. Because of those roadworks that were just happening out there that I just showed you, to get into this Canal Road film studio area here, it's sort of a back entrance on Charles Street. So uh, as I said, if any of you guys are working around here, you can go to Canal Road Film Studios. You can uh, come down Lilyfield Road, but you go left at Charles Street instead of the usual entrance. Anyway, Onwards and upwards for today. That one, that one, yeah, that was a good one. That paid out 20 bucks at double. So it was uh, nice. What I'll do, I'll ride along the bay here and uh, head, not, head back to Balmain that way, I think. Roselle Balmain that way, and then uh, head to Piermont from there. I think Balmain will usually, usually go quite around 1, 1, 1 1.30. So we'll just see how it is when we get there. So uh, yeah, as I said, we're right along the bay here. This is that, uh, as I was saying, I sometimes run along here. This is the running track just to the left here. You get running and cycling, but I feel like cycling here today. So, be buggered. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is Lemon Montage, which I think I've told you all before was once the Alpia Club, where I uh, watched the 1994 World Cup final just in there, Italy versus Brazil. Exciting game, but a shit result. No more shovel. Ooh, we got more work happening here too. Holy oh, Jesus, going in there. Bit of sound out of crack. He loves it. He loves it, Jake. Um, I think, not sure what they're putting in there. I remember them, yeah, I remember them saying something about what it was, but I can't remember exactly what it is. But they've started that now. This is uh, another field that's sort of used for soccer, but it's more for training um, for um, Apia Leichhardt juniors, like the young kids come down here and train. So obviously it's only a very small field. She's going to do a uh, inner west soccer field tour one day, couldn't I? Take you all around all the fields we play at. So, a yeah, nice little play area here. On the running track now, as I was telling you. And my place is just over, over that way, across the water. In that direction. See, as I said earlier, it's a nice day. It was a little bit chilly early, but I'm starting to heat up a bit now that um, the sun's come out. Um, I think it's around 20, 21 degrees, so quite a nice day weather wise. up there is Leichhardt Oval, um, another couple of soccer fields here and also baseball fields they use it, 
yeah, Leichhardt Rowing Club here. Leichhardt Oval number two just behind us. Glover Street up there on the left. And you can just sort of see here the uh, back of the baseball dugout. They use that for baseball in the um, in the summer. So yeah, what else can I tell you? Well, let's go see how um, Cullen Park's going. They're fixing, are they fixing Cullen Park? They're doing something down here. Um, down this end, this is all, uh, pretty much all these fields, as I was telling you along here, are the home, home fields of uh, Balmain. They're um, probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, club by player numbers. They have around 2,000 players. Whereas, uh, by comparison, our club we have, I think, 743, so... So we're sort of medium, medium sized, medium sized club, so. Who knows, I might take it out and show you uh, our home ground. Yeah, no idea what they're doing in there, but finally doing something with that part. Over here we've got two soccer fields as well. That's what they call Callan Park soccer fields. That's sort of the main, main fields of Bound Main, they're pretty dry at the moment. So uh, yeah, let's head up to Roselle and get a couple more deliveries. And while we're on soccer fields, we have another one here. They actually use this for um, athletics carnivals as well. You can see like a little long jump and triple jump thing there. And uh, this field is used by a club called Leichhardt Saints. They're a uh, sort of a smaller club. Got a decent presence but yeah so they're not as big as Balmain or may, maybe about the same size as us if a little smaller they play in uh, black and white stripes with red shorts that's Leichhardt Saints they're not a bad not a bad little club you know they're we were um, trying to tee up a friendly with them Ooh, a couple of guys fishing down there when do they catch yeah we we're trying to tee up a friendly with the Leichhardt Saints earlier um, this year and uh, in the end we couldn't couldn't sort of get it done and they sort of said to us oh yeah no worries just as so long as you beat Balmain in the comp I said yeah I agree <laughs> so Balmain's the club everyone wants to knock off because they're sort of so big they are what you could say the Man United or the Man City of the CDSFA <laughs> I could get in a lot of trouble for saying that but Ah, just joking. Just mucking around. It's all good. All in good fun. And, uh, speaking of soccer, what about my beloved Central Coast Mariners? One game away from the grand final. What a game that was in Adelaide. Good 2-1 win in Adelaide for the Mariners. Now we've got to come back to Gosford and play Adelaide there. If we knock them off there, or if we draw... At least we'll be uh, to the grand final, the A League grand final in a couple of weeks. Go, you mighty Mariners! Come on, you yellow! Anyway, I'll get back to work. <laughs> okay, progress. We're up here at the other end of the really field right now. And I think last time you, uh, you would have seen it, this part here was closed off, it's now been opened up, so this, this end of Lilyfield Road is open for you to come in off uh, the, uh, Victoria Road, City West Link, whatever you want to call it there. It's all been cleaned up and opened up, which is nice. We're still obviously doing the uh, work, putting the tram, tram line and tunnel in down there, so... Yeah, this part's now been opened up. It's going good. Back here. I don't think you'll make it 
too much. Kind of a quiet area to bus. Pickup, uh, first pickup down. It's not really Broadway, it's sort of Altima. Little cafe in here. Nice little place in here to eat. This is, uh, this is the FKM at a road Broadway down here. And this one's going over to Surrey Hills, which I thought, uh, I thought I'd make mention of the um, boys down on new bikes again. I had to head down there uh, last. Friday when I was working. This is what happened on Thursday night. I couldn't get the battery off the bike. And I was freaking out. I was shit, shit. There was a little bit of power left on it, so I thought I'll just go to Surrey Hills and see see what it is, see what it, if they can do anything, hopefully, you know. And uh, obviously they did. <laughs> so what it was, it was the uh I'll just pull in here quickly and show you. What happened this the barrel here, just here where you uh, put the key in to lock and unlock it, the barrel was damaged apparently um, and so he goes yeah, I'll oh, sweat, I'll fix it for you in like 10 minutes really, so got that fixed went from Surrey Hills back home with the old battery on with it had hardly any juice left in it got the new battery the two batteries, got the new one, chucked the new one on went straight back out and started working so. Thank you to the fellas down on Move Bikes, once again, brilliant, as always, so, yeah, anyway, off to Surrey Hills with this one. Already got that one delivered and I uh, thought I'd do a quick update on the score for today. Currently I'm up to 52 bucks, it's just going on 2.30pm, so I've been out for about 3 hours. And I've done 7 trips. Seven trips in three hours. Yeah. Considering I started from home and had that really long one that was um, down at Lilyfield, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna head back up here to Broadway Shopping Centre and get another couple. Just get further up here to the uh, sign there say new shops opening soon. And they don't actually tell you, but I know exactly what shop it is. The Cathlon. Just here. So you can see the basketball we got there. It's got the Decathlon brand tarmac and the bike, the Rock Rider. This will be Decathlon just here. It's smack bang in the middle of Broadway. The Decathlon's going to be opening up there soon. Um, it should be good because I get a lot of my supplies from there. They're a sporting goods shop. Um, only thing with that is, I don't think it's going to be like a, a full size shop. It's actually quite big, the stores. Um, what I think it's going to be is when you order stuff online from there, they've got, they've got a few smaller shops which you can only pick up your online order from. So I think that's probably what that's going to be there. But, uh, it's now quarter to three. A little bit quiet here at Broadway. So I might head down to Piedmont and uh, see if we can get down there. So at least there's a Woolies down there. And pick up one or two Woolies, deliver some down to Piedmont way. It just had to happen as soon as I got back to the bike and um, got ready to go. The uh, an order came in picking this one from Hoyts at Broadway back upstairs there. Um, and then we got another one to pick up from around the corner, it's doubles paying about 15 bucks, taking it back down to Surrey Hills. So I might go and get that now and uh, catch you all in a bit. Well, I'll just go up to Hoyts, and um, unfortunately, we've got to get that to uh, dump the. Cafe Coops on it, which is the second one that came in, part of the double, because um, the, there were two extreme popcorns and a drink and a few other things on this one from the Hoyts one, and those extreme popcorns are fucking big, man, they are like USA, USA size, so, had to get rid of that other delivery, but yeah, we're going to run this one down to Surrey Hills again now, so, it's interesting, we've just come from Surrey Hills, so, you don't normally get Broadway to Surrey Hills delivery, so 
don't know what the go there is, but anyway, not to worry. Let's uh, go and get this baby done. I think it should pay should pay around probably around the 13, 15 dollar mark. I think it was around 17 to 20 bucks for the double, so should be good. Alrighty, time to shut up and head down to uh, Surrey Hills. Yeah, so I managed to log back into um, DoorDash a while ago, sitting there waiting. Look how busy it's gotten now. Um, yeah, managed to log back into DoorDash and uh, started up a dash as well, so doing a bit of multi apping but just had one Uber going from here, Broadway, back to Forest Lodge, so dropped that one off and uh, easy tiger. Yeah, dropped that one off and uh, thought I'd come back down through here and I might, might go for a ride to the city as well. It's kind of quiet around here now, it's uh, just before 4 pm, so I'll go for a ride to Piedmont and maybe a little bit of the CBD, Darling Harbour, and uh, see what's happening down there. And probably head back up here around dinner time, be a bit busier. Jumbo toy, we're going to pick that one up now. It's down at Piedmont. Oh, we um flying towards that one to do that drop off there. There's a dude sort of walking in front of me, and sort of a little bit of a narrow path, sort of narrowed a bit. And I was absolutely hammering along, and I go, go. Um, I was flying along, the, I went past him and I missed him and I, on the other side there was a step, just scraped along the step, I think I frightened the shit out of the poor guy. Yeah, I flew past him, a bit further up, got to the address, and he happens to walk around the corner, he says, oh, is that for my name? And he said his name. I was like, what? I was like, oh, sorry. Sort of give you a bit of a fright there. He said, no, no, no worries. Water while I was sitting at the pub. You came pretty quickly, so didn't beat him home because I delivered it <laughs> anyway let's head back to where are we going to head to now we're sort of the rocks now um I'll head back over to Piermont for a little bit should do a couple over there um that's yeah, sort of a good little area. I actually might even head down um, Darling Harbour way as well. Darling Harbour and then one. I might do that. So yeah. When you're delivering all that, try and not scare the customer. Nah, he was cool with it. You just hope that I got there quick and I beat him. He's didn't beat him home, so. Yeah, all good. 
when they jump into the bike well, they'll just scrape the pedal on the uh, step a little bit so Not the major alrighty let's head to uh, Darling Hubba just get a shot of across here videos I've been gradually showing you how it's been demolished it's pretty much pretty much all gone now as we get a bit closer over there you'll um you'll see absolutely demolished 80% of it or probably more than 80 90% of it at this stage so go down there and have a look along the uh darling drive path sort of really you can really see in there now what a big job it actually is, has been. Well, Johnny the Wrecker. And, I might just slow down here. Vivid Sydney is coming up. 26th of May to 17th of June. What that is, that's like a light show. They have a whole. I'll show you, there's a few places that are already set up, but the lights just aren't on yet. They're sort of, they're just starting to set up. Um, where they're going to put sort of light shows on. In my opinion, it's, it's good and it's bad. <laughs> because, I'll talk about that in a second. We'll, um, we'll get the shot of the old Darling Harbour thing here too. You might just be able to see in there, that's where I used to go. Got from uh, Macca's and Brache's, the restaurant used to be in there. Those restaurants are no longer. Beautiful. sort of see right in and just see that they've flattened all of it. Now we'll come through here and uh, hang out at Darling Hub for a little bit. See if we can get a bit of action. I've just finally figured out, I've been asking myself what that thing is there. I'd say that it would most likely be a vivid light show thing. It's going to be part of it there. It's all along here. Oh God, it's sort of setting more up along here too. Jesus. Yeah. But as I was saying, it's a, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. Good because it'll mean I get to do a nice video for you all of it. Bad because there's going to be thousands of people every night walking along here and walking all through the Sydney CBD to see all the um, all the light things but, uh, yeah that big golf ball back there what, what, what the hell is this you know what, what the hell are they doing there then I, I just realized then oh, I was going to be part of Vivid and yeah it sort of runs between 26th of May and 17th of June so that's about three weeks three four weeks so what I might have to do there is avoid the CBD <laughs> As I said, I'll do one video um, in here with the vivid thing. I'll just have a really slow night, or I'll pick a pick a night where it's vivid might be a little bit quieter. Jesus, or vivid down here too. Jesus, it's gonna be big. A little stage thing set up, set up there. So yeah. Um, see, so yeah, I'll uh, do a little uh, video for you all of it. Try and get as many of the light thingies that I can. Um, but yeah, for that month, that sort of three weeks or so, I'm going to try and avoid avoid the CBD. Maybe and see how that goes. So, you know, sort of do areas, sort of Broadway, which I normally do Broadway up up here might might actually be okay. Um, unless they've got one. Oh, jeez. Unless they've got one put in here as well. Oh Jesus. Just right up past the sign here. 
Yeah, they normally, I think they normally put something down here too when it's on, so. Yeah, how long are you going to be stuffed up? Broadway, what I call the Broadway Express, this line through here along the, uh, up here, here, it's a long part of the goods line and then down the back, behind it, it's the Broadway Express. I mean, all the soon as I say let's go to Piedmont or let's go to Broadway, I get one from BWS at Ultima, <laughs> and uh, that's going back down there to Piedmont, so yeah, we'll uh, pick this up and head back down to Piedmont. Sort of guess, well, you're very organized. You're probably the most organized Uber guy I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. We'll put that down to the uh, all the gear I got. The uh, GoPro, uh, not GoPro, sorry, the uh, quad lock. The quad lock thingy. It's a big part of it, I think, so she was impressed. Thank you, Wilsa, for the inspiration. Bro. That's on you, mate. No see compliments like that. We are back at Broadway. Uh, just picked one up for, I've got a long time for the grill, and it's going down to Alexandria. Wow. There we get that one. Uh, hopefully, we get back in time for dinner because. Now 10 to 5, yeah, it should be, should be good to come back. It's good. Should, should get back here in time for dinner, because I think it's going to be pretty busy dinner tonight, so. Dinner starts around 6, ends about 8, 8.30 p.m., so. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, for those uh, who are interested in comparing Uber Eats and DoorDash and how good they both are, my um, dash just finished then, the one I had going a while ago. Uh, the one I was sort of multi at the Uber and the DoorDash going at once. Um, so I'm going to compare them with Uber. This is probably the fourth one I've got since I started the dash, fourth delivery I've got. And uh, DoorDash got bugger all, zero. So that's for those who may be comparing, thinking about you know which one you should do, all that sort of thing. As I always say, Uber is king. But you know, DoorDash can sometimes, you can get a couple, but for me personally, actually we're supposed to go through that one, yeah. For me personally, Uber is king. Score update for uh, those that are interested, I'm up to 114 bucks, 114.92 to be precise, and I've done 16 trips. So, there you go, and uh, it's currently 6:30 p.m. So I've been going for seven hours, just uh, just a bit over seven hours now. So, yeah, been a bit of a quietish day, but kind of good. Um, and I had this idea the other day for a business. What it is? You know all these people that are, uh, they got, you know, yeah, well, pretty much for young babies and they're working from home now. You've got to have meetings, like uh, Zoom meetings or whatever. What I thought of was, um, not that I'd actually go and do the job, but you set up a company which have sort of babysitters for hire, short-term sort of babysitters and child minders for hire. So while, while they're on their, you know, two or three hour Zoom meeting, while they're working from home. The way that came about was uh, my uh, my brother's wife. We're, at a, uh, we're over at their place the other night for uh, Mother's Day having dinner and said, oh, you know, 
asked my mum if she could go over and look after my little nephew. Mum was like, yeah, sure, no worries, you know. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. Like a business idea, straight away it hit me. And I said, you know, what do you reckon? This business, I said, you know, what do you, what do you reckon? I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be really good, you know, so. It's like, uh, if you've got like a Zoom call or something booked for work, you call up a, like a babysitter or a childminder or whatever you want to call it. Um, arrange them to come to your house for an hour, two hours, three hours, however long the meeting's expected to go for. Because obviously you don't want the baby or the child and grow up in the meeting, so you have someone looking after them there while you have the meeting and then you know after the meeting they can uh, they can bugger off to the next job or they can go to uni or whatever else they do and of course you know that'll be sort of vetted and fully qualified as uh, child minders and babysitters and whatever else so let me know in the comments what you think of that little business idea you never know it just might get up Anyway, back at Broadway here, we'll uh, try and pick one up here. It looks like I've um, been proven wrong. Not for the first time. Uh, Broadway was kind of quiet. There's just, just coming up to 7 o'clock now. 10 to 7. Um, Broadway was really, really quiet for some reason. It's sort of weird. I think it was pretty popular around this time of night, but yeah. So I thought I uh, may as well head on up to Newtown. Just up the road here. Do a lap of King Street and see what's happening. Even uh, Guzman's quiet. The guys sitting there, Guzman, usually there's like 10 guys here just hanging out waiting for all this. Wow. The yeah, Newtown's actually been quiet. I've already been down that way. We've got nothing, so. Probably seven. I might, um, might do another lap and. See what happens. I was thinking I might, might also head down to uh, Stanmore Mackers a bit later. If nothing else comes in, Stanmore Mackers or um, Stanmore Mackers, maybe even Marrickville Metro. It's way down the other end of King uh, Street, but we'll just see what happens. Here we go, just got one. Uh, it's from BWS, which is a liquor store down at Erskineville. It's a little bit further down here, and you go left down Erskineville Road, and it's all the way down there, so I wasn't really expecting to get one from there, from that area, but hey, it's only paying six bucks, so I'm fucking, another one might come in while I'm on the way there too, so, so yeah, Newtown, really quiet, first of all, going up really good somehow, so, yeah, let's hit it, well, this is uh, Erskineville Road, also commonly known as Erko, E-R-K-O, Good old uh, Aussie way of breathing out everything, shortening everything. <laughs> I'm just going to pick this baby up. Hey. Good, yeah, going for a Chloe? Yeah, there you go. Thanks, mate. Have a good one. Here we go. Sneak peek, ladies and gentlemen. Vivid light show. <laughs> uh, they're uh, just like testing it and stuff, I'd say. It's going to be a big one down here on the good zone by the looks of it. It should be a Pain in the ass. Bit of Broadway and uh, also Darling Harbour. Very quiet. I just came through Darling Harbour. I'm coming up Oxford Street now. I'm going to come up here and have a look what's uh, what's going on. And the street itself looks very quiet too. So I wonder what's going on, Sydney. Could it be that we're 
actually already in a recession and people aren't spending money. Nah. I think it's because maybe, um, probably because Uber probably do special, I think, oh fuck, as soon as I say it's nothing, <laughs> four those out, it's still I think um, the reason it's so quiet, I think, in life in many ways, we've had a lot of new riders come on in Sydney the last few weeks. Uh, and as well as that, I gather um, Uber probably aren't doing as many specials with the customers as they have been recently. So when they do lots of specials, I presume they got got um, well, heaps of people Heaps of people working, so you get heaps of orders, so... I think you're in Jesus down here now. Anyway, I get this one picked up and uh, stop philosophising and actually do some work. <laughs> well, it could be that. Everyone avoiding the junk food this week, the takeaway and that because of the uh, half marathon which is on the Sunday. It's a Sydney Morning Herald half marathon I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's the one it is. And no I'm not going in it because I've never done a half marathon distance before. Well, I wasn't even having a crack at the city to surf this year, that's uh, 14 kilometres, that's in August. The only problem with that is it's close to soccer semi-final time so uh, yeah if you're in the uh, if you're in the city on Sunday there's going to be a lot of road closures so uh, this is the marathon so keep an eye for that I'm just come and have a look at uh, Westfield and see if any things happening here looks pretty good there's grill just up here which you can usually grill on and pick one up from but <laughs> that looks pretty good yeah Jesus yeah, yeah. There's also the uh, chat tie just here as well, I think. Yeah, chat tie. Which reminds me, I might head down to uh, Circular Key, maybe. Have a look down there. It's even chat tie very quite. There's like three people in there. I don't know, probably three groups. <laughs> Next printer, got a few from there. I think that's quiet, yeah. It's very quiet here tonight. Yeah. I'll head back down to the bike and head somewhere else. Guess what happened? Get back to the bike just down there. Crane goes off. It's a double water from Greg. Now, would you believe it? For fuck's sake. Oh, well. No whinging. Order's an order. <laughs> okay, another... Actually, programming things in that. There's another sneak peek at Vivid for you. We have a big one set up down here. It's just come from the box just there. <laughs> this is down Circular Key. Um, usually we're on Macca's Heater. If you want to, there's also Hungry Jacks back there. Let's see, it's like a big stage thing set up for the river there too. This whole city's going to be fucked. For us, deliverers anyway. <laughs> Here's quite a few places to um, deliver from here around Circular Key. So I thought I'd come down and have a look. Yeah, also got vivid stuff being set up too. Good to know. Anyway, I'm mostly on around here for a bit and uh, see what we can get. Now I just have to, uh, have to get out of there. So you know the four guys like me sitting there bumming around, uh, four deliverers like me I should say, bumming around waiting for orders. Um, and not only that, there was a fucking seagull, I was eating some bread and there was a fucking seagull sitting there eyeing me off. I could tell he was going to have a crack at me. Thankfully, he didn't have a go at me, but... Well, that's as good, as, as good a reason as any to get out of here and uh, go for a ride and try and get a couple more orders before the end of the night, because it's now... 
shit, it's now nine o'clock, Jesus. And I've done 20 trips and we're up to 134 bucks, so hang out for a bit longer and uh, see how we go. Yeah, this is Pitt Street, the back of uh, Westfield. I'll cruise on down here and see if I'll get in. There's nothing so far. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Pitt Street so quiet, like, even at night times, there's usually a couple of riders hanging around here, but no. <laughs> wow, the city's dead. Here we are at the uh, Piedmont Hangout. <laughs> yeah, just had a little something to eat in Coles there, and, um, Thought I'd get moving. Hang around for a little while longer, but um, it's not quiet. I'm I'll just head home. Time is just after nine, I think. Yeah, it's only past nine. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've either got one of two options. I can stay out a little bit later. See, see if I can pick up one or two. Around sort of 10, 10.30, just to get myself to the 150 mark. Um, or I can come out tomorrow, which is something I don't normally do on a Wednesday. Um, I'm just thinking then I might come out during the day because we've got soccer training tomorrow night. Um, ooh, what's going on here? Hell. What's going on here? Oh, we can get around. Yeah, so I might, might come out tomorrow. See if I can make another 50 bucks or so and do uh, what I normally make in the day. Alrighty. Let's try to finish up video. You can see this mural they're working on. Um, it's not a bad idea, I guess, but let's see what the uh, what's supposed to be here. So in between, painted between 1st of May and 13th of May. Uh, it's painted by Scott Marsh. History stories and inspiration of communities. Doesn't say anything about the. Um, oh, here we are. The street artwork is the local legend, there and a young sports person over here for frame running. So he's got um, like a. It's almost like a bike. He's, a, he's not on a bike. It looks like he's on a bike, but he's actually running on a frame. On a. It's like a trike, but it's got. Um, it aids him to stand up, obviously. Um, Frame running, frame running is innovative sport for people with a physical disability who have impaired balance who are not able to function or run. Frame runner trike is a custom built three wheel frame where the runner is supported by a saddle and leans against the chest support, propelling themselves forward using their feet. Okay, so it's a, um, it's a kid, it's a frame runner. That's a good idea. And here it is uh, coming together, should be. Should be done pretty soon. Oh, it's what, what's the date today? It's past the 13th of May. It's the 16th of May. So yeah, it's taking a bit longer than um, expected, but yeah, should be good once it comes up. And obviously that's um, running science to store and sort of what it's um, is the significance of it. You know, because um, running science is sort of big. Obviously, running. I sell running shoes and all that sort of thing. They're really. Um, they're really well known. They used to be located just across the road before the Down Victoria Road, but now they're located up here. So yeah, um, I did have that on. I might jump over here. Just thought I'd tell you that little story and uh, start a finish up video. Oopa, I'm going down too far. Okay, so the stats for today. No real change from the last video. 20 trips, $134.79 in total. Quick screenshot that if I can. 
So yeah, the screen shot works. I left that up here for you. And how long was I online for? Wow, that'll be interesting. <laughs> I was online for nine, hour, nine hours and 42 minutes. Well, I still am online, but yeah. It's uh, creates about 13 bucks an hour if you look at it that way. Not great, but you know. You can't always have $200 plus days, can you? Season and roundabouts. As I said, I might come out tomorrow and um, before I go to soccer training, it's a morning and early afternoon shift and um, should be able to make 50, 60 bucks pretty, pretty comfortably, I think, lunch, lunch time, so it's not all bad. Yeah, on that note, I'll, um, I'll uh, bid you all farewell. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Should be a much shorter video this one, I think, than the usual ones, which you'll probably all love. Um, yeah. Um, and as I said, I'll, uh, I'll do it. I'll, Definitely try and do a video of the uh, Vivid one. It's got to be something worth watching. You all want to see, so stay tuned for the next video. And until then, see you next time.